Hi, I'm Carol Dale, Music Coordinator at Village on Mission. I will be reading Psalm 148 as we begin the season of Advent, Christmas, and Epiphany. It seems at times that God is not in control. The final word is not doubt, but hope. The birth of the Messiah is the source of hope and joy and is appropriately addressed with words of praise. Our current times may seem helpless and hopeless, yet our first and last responses should be praise. We have purpose while we wait. On the other side of the wait is hope, healing, and restoration. Listen for two things in this psalm. One is range. Praise at the highest of the heavens, descending to the deepest of the deeps, including everyone and everything within the earth. No place is too high nor too low. And listen for repetition for the number of times the psalmist writes the word praise, nine times. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels, praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon, praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he has commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his commands. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the heaven and earth. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. <laughs>